Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to share my evening skincare routine with you. Now this does change on a daily basis depending on my skincare needs and I will swap the products in and out depending on what I'm using and what my favorites are of the moment but this should give you a pretty good idea of the actual routine that I do on a regular basis. So the first thing that I'll do when I head into the bathroom is I will tie back my hair. I usually just use one of those little bubbles but I find that this is the most effective way to pull my hair back and not have too many kinks or anything like that. And I'll start my skincare routine by cleansing off all of my makeup. I don't tend to wear foundation on a daily basis, but I usually have some sort of eye makeup on. I personally really love playing with eyeliner. And the cleanser that I've been using that I've found really effective is from Strivectin. And this is their multi-action moisture matrix melting cleanser. That's a mouthful. What I love about this is that it is such a gentle cleanser and it's really Really great at removing your makeup it's very emollient and I find it just breaks down all of that makeup really effortlessly then what I'll do is I'll use a face halo and I will use that to kind of remove any of the excess makeup the face halo in itself is a really amazing beauty tool and something that I've really loved having as part of my routine it is great at actually just removing makeup all on its own you don't need to use a cleanser but I just find that usually whenever I'm washing my skin and trying to get rid of all my makeup for the day this this just helps me to get rid of it a little bit more efficiently. If you watched my last evening skincare routine, then you probably saw that I didn't double cleanse, but this is now a big part of what I do on an evening basis. The other cleanser that I'm using is from Clarins, and this is a gentle firming cleanser. It was one that I picked up recently when I was trying to find something new as I'd run out of my usual one. This is a really thick cleansing milk, and I think it's actually also a cult favorite from the brand. It's really good if you do have combination skin like I have and I find that it really just helps to strip all the rest of that makeup off. My skin always feels very very clean once I've finished using this and once I've kind of lathered and worked that into my skin I will just rinse it off using a damp face cloth. I've also been using another cleansing milk from Alabashe which I will leave down in the description box below just as a little bit gentler and I think a really good option if you want something that feels a bit softer on your skin. Now what I love to do maybe two or three times a week is use this pumpkin enzyme mask from Peter Thomas Roth. I think it's probably my favorite part of my skincare routine and I always look forward to it. It has the most incredible scent. I've talked about it before, but it actually smells good enough to eat. But what I like about this is that it is an exfoliant. So it really helps get rid of those dead skin cells which are sitting on the top layer of your skin. And I find that my complexion always looks a bit brighter and a bit healthier after I've used this. So what I will do is I will grab a, I suppose a generous scoop out of the tub and I'll work that into my skin using a massaging motion, just making sure to avoid the eye area. And once I've kind of gotten even coating over my entire face. I'll leave that for around about five minutes before I wash it off using a face cloth again. And I just make sure to get rid of everything. And the instructions do say that you can leave this on for somewhere between three and seven minutes. It all depends on how sensitive your skin is. I don't find that I get that burning sensation, but it is something to be conscious of if you do find that you react quite considerably to different types of skincare products. I'll then follow this up with a toner, which usually I would use this following my uh, cleansing process. And the one that I've been reaching for a lot recently is from Clarins. And I love that this is alcohol free and it is plant based as well. And it's really good for my, I've got combination oily skin. And I find that it just helps to kind of tone my skin and it feels really gentle and soft. And I will usually actually, rather than using a cotton pad, I actually just like to apply this straight onto my hands and then pat it into my skin but it feels very refreshing. I love the scent of it as well. I will usually end up reaching for a second toner and the other one that I've been using is from Bybee Beauty and it's their Mega Mist. This is made from naturally derived ingredients and it's cruelty free and vegan and it also comes in sustainable packaging which I think is really good but it just smells great and it helps to add a bit of extra moisture back into my skin through that whole toning process. I'm 31 years old and I've really started to notice the effects of aging, particularly on my complexion. And so this product here, which is from Kiehl's, it's their powerful strength line reducing concentrate, is one that I used in a really focused way. So I want to try and reduce the appearance of the fine lines that I've got on my forehead. And I find that this has definitely helped to soften those fine lines and wrinkles and just also help with the texture as well. I've been using this for a couple of months now, so I've really started to see the benefits 
of incorporating this into my skincare routine. For the rest of my face, I've been using a serum from Peter Thomas Roth. So this is the Potency Power Serum, and this is absolutely loaded with vitamin C. I like to apply this just across my cheeks, my nose, and my chin area, which is where I notice that I've got a bit of uneven skin tone and textural issues, because this is gonna to help to brighten it up and also help to balance out those problems. On evenings when my skin is feeling particularly dry, and I find that this is really something that I gravitate towards a lot more during the cooler months, I will also incorporate this Renewal Oil from La Mer. This is obviously a really, really pricey product, and it's not one that I use every single day, but I get a lot of dryness across my cheeks. So what I like to do is focus the product there just so that I can really help balance it out and rejuvenate my skin and make it feel a lot more plump and nourished. The final step of my skincare routine is obviously to moisturize and I don't have a moisturizer that I'm loyal to. I kind of rotate a few different ones, but I would say probably the one that I enjoy using the most and that I find the most effective is the Aveda Wedding Mask. That is amazing and it's great as a day moisturizer too. The one that I've kind of had on regular rotation recently is from Olay and it's their Total Effects Whip Moisturizer. This has a really nice lightweight texture to it and it just sort of melts into your skin. It's kind of unlike anything else that I've tried and it really, I find, helps to keep my skin feel moisturized and just really hydrated. So that is my full evening skincare routine. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me as I kind of went through the entire process. I'd love to know if there are any particular products that you have been using recently which you really enjoy and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. See you then. Bye!